We're here at Superior Outdoor Expressions and we came here for one plant. And the one guy who found it. Let's go look for him. Back in 2002, I was on a landscape job at Eden Prairie and I came around the corner and saw this amazing four foot tall, eight foot wide, weeping Japanese maple. And it had been there for a long time and it's not supposed to be there, typically not hardy in Minnesota. I have a good friend that works at Monrovia, Suzette Nordstrom. She works at Monrovia Nursery. I sent her some cuttings of it and she started to propagate it through Monrovia and grow it. What you have here, what the Velvet Viking is and what the old ones was, what's the difference? The to winter hardiness. This is just a, a total fluke that you would find one in a million plants that actually has adapted and survived in our climate. They typically might live for a year or two if you have a warm winter, but they usually die after the first year or two. I do recommend planting it in a protected spot. You know, you wouldn't just put it out in your boulevard near the street. Um, protected spot near a foundation, so it gets a little bit of a, a, some heat off the foundation to help, help get through the winter. Um, mulch is super important. You know, mulch the base, mulch it, put a good winter carpet down. So the characteristics of this is it's a blood good, which means it's red all the time. Tell us more about what it will do for you. Um, I have one on the east side, north side, and south side of my house. And the one on the south side of my house is literally eight feet wide, but only knee high. It's just a creepy crawly spreader. It's not a tree. A lot of people are calling it a Japanese maple tree, but it's more of a shrub. So who came up with the name? We wanted to label it something that meant Northern, hardy, Minnesota, the Vikings and velvet. So it kind of just described the color, the texture, the location. It kind of described everything perfectly. What does it feel like to, to have found this? It's pretty crazy to stumble on something like this and literally it was under my nose. And this homeowner, they had it in their yard for over 20 years, had no idea what they had. I, I told them, this is such a unique specimen. Do you mind if I take cuttings? They're like, I don't care. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, a reminder, you can text GROW to 763-797-7215, and you'll get a reply with a link to the GROW With Care page and a link to join our Facebook group. You can also text your GROW questions directly to that number.